Okay, I'm Jessica McNaughton. I'm the CEO and founder of Memory Keeper Technologies. And we are a SaaS based startup and we focus on helping people save, store, design, and protect their stories. So, Memory Keeper is really focused on trying to make sure that our stories live on and look beautiful. We are in, in have all these incredible habits as consumers now with our smartphone in our hand to capture stories in a completely different way than we used to, and yet we have no good solutions. I ask a lot of people, what are you gonna do to show your kids and your grandkids your story in 20 years? And sadly, a lot of the answers are, I hope Facebook is still around because that's where my story is unfolding digitally. So we're creating a space where you can um, add photos, videos, voice messages, photos with a voice tag on it, or written messages to bring together your story. One of the really cool functions we have is that you actually, it's a private story. You decide who sees it, when they see it, how they see it, um, and or you keep it for yourself. But you can also engage with other people. So you can send out either a link or a QR code through any of your socials, email, or just by printing the QR code and letting people scan it. And then other people can contribute to your story too. We've had a lot of fun with that at things like weddings and graduations. Um, and you can also do the same for sharing your story. You share it via a link or you share it with a QR code. So we actually have some graduates walking around right now that have a QR code on the back of their diploma that they're gonna be able to scan for years to be able to see their final year in high school. So some really unique, unique applications for a very simple add a piece of media, add some context to it, invite some other people to do the same, and you've got a curated story. The origin story for Memory Keeper, there's there's a couple of things that I would say that unfolded up in this mess um, at the same time. I've lost both my parents, and I lost them about eight years apart. I lost my mom 15 years ago, and we do not have a single recording of her laughter. She had the best laugh, and we don't have a single recording. I lost my dad well, six years ago now, and we've got some of his, he was a great storyteller. And so we've got some of the stories that he's told captured because our media habits changed. You know, we have some videos on Facebook. Or, um, I also unfortunately lost a niece at the age of 15 and her life was on social media. And so having that and being able to use it in our healing process, our grieving and our healing process, really to get to still feel her here and hear her laughter um, was a really important part of our journey. With her, her videos were on Vine, and so when Vine folded into Twitter, we lost them. And, and really, so the combination of all those things, journals I kept for my kids since before they were born, and then losing some of these pieces of media that we cherish so much, kind of just gave me this, oh my gosh, like there's nowhere permanent we're putting all this. There's no photo album for that recording of the laughter I have now. And so um, I started digging into it, and that's where really the whole, the whole inspiration for it came. 10 years in the future, I see us having a product that's integrated with Dropbox, Google, Apple Photos, all the major storage facilities so that you can actually go on the trip with your friends, talk about the best pizza you had, write your Airbnb reviews and your data footprint instead of being used to tell you what, to, what company should sell to you, that it all turns on its head and your data is being used to help you remember your stories and your people's stories really well. Thank you.